you know, 2012 as far as like on an energy level? Well, you know, first of all, question. first of all, the uh, long count calendar of the Mayan, I don't believe in. Uh, now, nah, I just made all the people who love Mayans get, getting teed off at me now. <laughs> so let me explain myself fully. Uh, okay. As far as I can understand, the Mayans at that time were an agronomist people. They just did not have the celestial mechanics to not only figure out a star cluster center using the Milky Way as a guidance since we're on the far flanges of the Milky Way, but they just didn't go that way. They just could not have it. They were still making sacrifices. Uh, they still, if you notice by the step pyramids or ziggurats there, they will usually have fanged reptiles there right alongside, which meant that their gods were reptiles. And I think that they were truly uh, almost like this movie Apocalypse or reptiles there right alongside, which meant that their gods were reptiles. And I think that they were truly uh, almost like this movie Apocalypse or uh, Apocalypsis. This guy always makes movies, but he always gets them wrong. I don't know. <laughs> He's got the right idea, but he always films them wrong as far as I'm concerned. Um, the sacrifices that they made were to their gods. And they had enough trouble just trying to stay alive with their gods not eating them up. That's why they sacrificed the best and hoping that the gods would leave the rest. But being serpents as they are and dracons, they didn't care. And this is where we have to get into the deeper science here. These serpent gods are very evil. They've controlled this planet for some time. Now, get into heavy. You said you want to go deep. Let's dig some ditches. This planet has been controlled for over 4 million years, maybe more than that, uh, by reptiles. And they pretty much have c controlled this area. They are reptilian in form. They're called Dracons. They come from Draconis and Orion. And they've had their way. They've even made so many of the bodies that we jump into as souls. And if you notice on these bodies, they put the brain right at the hex of this 32nd vertebra there, which is what's called a 32nd degree. And this is what we have to go through to expand consciousness. we got to go through the reptile brain, which does four things well. Fight, feed, flee, and fornicate. Fight plead, flee, and fornicate. And most of our time, that's what we do. We're either fighting wars, fleeing from something, afraid of something, uh, making have sex without love, and then, you know, just eating anything that's around. Once we get past that, we could begin to expand into Nani consciousness and to get into that uh, the yin-yang T uh, ratio where we can begin to open up the right brain and really get out there into space. So, that being all said, I doubt seriously if they could have presented that. To me, it was made by the Olmecs. And the Olmecs, called Zacapacans, and of course the Olmecs is another homemade word, they were the ones there in Central America, at Chicken Itzu, at Uxmal, at Cecil, at Chihuanaca, all of these places. They even came into the Ohio Valley. They're here in Illinois. Ohio Valley. They're here in Illinois. The mound builders here, the serpent mounds. These are the ones that stood against these evil dracons, and they're the ones we attribute most of our thank you to. That's why you would notice that they're Negroid gods are all over the planet. Uh, you've got even the Norsemen and Norwegians and stuff have Tyre, which was a black guy. Uh, the, the Indians, real Indians, not these American Algonquin and Kalians, they have uh, Kriste, which is a blue black god. Buddha, which means the black, and Laos, Cambodia. All of these gods are around there because they're the only ones that helped off this population that was being circumvented and hybrid here on this planet and saved it from these dracons. Now, to me, those are the ones that had enough intelligence and enough wisdom of astronomical uh, ladder sort to not only utilize the crystal um, skulls and to utilize the Milky Way, but to me, they're also the ones that you that built the pyramids on Mars. They're the ones that built the pyramids here after they fought the account. And that calendar, if you can make it through to December 21st, 2012, you'll be good. Now is the time when we're going through the hells. Now is the time in the time before we get into the fifth dimension because it's my understanding our planet is going from the third dimension to the fifth dimension. That's like going from kindergarten to postgraduate school all in the space of three years. So those that can vibrate, those that can go with our new binary star sun system, and I know I'm dropping facts all over the place and people say these facts are crazy. They're not. They're well studied. You have to believe them or don't believe them. That's up to you. But as we get into a binary star sun system, the vibrations of everything is speeding up. The astronomers and meteorologists and astrophysicists are all talking about how the sun now has this low spot activity, no sunspot activity there. What's happened to the sun? Well, the sun is going highly magnetic. They're saying it's losing the magnetism, but it's going to organ energy, and you don't have sunspot but it's going to organ energy, and you don't have sunspot with organ energy. So I'm just saying we could talk from now on. It is not the Mayan calendar. It is the Olmec and Zacopakans calendar, and it's a time when people must awaken. They must go with the new dimensions of the planet, or we cease to exist. With everything official.